Hey guys, I'm Leo Reinhardt, the Guitar Maniac. And today I'm going to talk about the hollow body guitar. I already made the whole uh, episode where I do a lot of talking and it's pretty long and boring. And today I'm going to do less talking and more experiment to make it less boring. As you might know, this guitar belongs to a good friend of mine, Johnny, who let me use it for recording session. And maybe this was the first time in my life where I spent quite a lot of time with the hollow body guitar. And this was a new experience for me and this was all exciting. I already own like uh, 8 solid body guitars and for the music uh, that I play in 90% of the cases I might uh, replace one solid body guitar with a different one and get pretty much a uh, similar result because uh, they sound pretty much uh, the same. The hollow body guitar is the whole new world for me that I want to explore more. And how do I do this uh, in the usual cases? I go out and buy a new guitar. That's how I ended up uh, buying uh, eight uh, solid body guitars. Uh, but I know for a fact that maybe after uh, playing it for a while, I'll just uh, put it aside and uh, barely touch it and we'll, it will stay there in the corner of the room without me playing it. And maybe I'll use it only twice in my life for some really occasional cases. So, before I spend a lot of money buying a new guitar that I probably don't use, I'll uh, try uh, to understand. Can I explore the world of hollow body guitars without buying uh, the new one? First of all, let's talk why these two guitars are different in terms of sound. The a uh, solid body guitar has a longer sustain if you compare it to the hollow body guitar. The attack of uh, the uh, solid body guitar is kind of a uh, punch in the face type of attack, while the attack of the hollow body guitar is uh, kind of mellow and smooth. The same description uh, might be used uh, for the sound. The sound of a solid body guitar is uh, bitey. Uh, and uh, the sound of the hollow body guitar is uh, smooth and jazzy. And why is it so? Well, according to some of the internet resources, this guitar has the hollow body. And this hollow body uh, takes a part of uh, the vibrating energy of the string and uh, transfers it into mechanical vibrations. So it kind of mellows out uh, the sound of the vibrating strings. The solid body guitar uh, doesn't have this uh, type of body that needs to be resonated uh, acoustically and that's why the vibrations of uh, the strings uh, don't uh, get uh, smoothened up uh, by the body. And that's why we have better attack, longer sustain and so on. Well, but uh, this uh, was type of information that I saw online and uh, everybody seems to repost uh, this type of information. But I've uh, got a theory that I mentioned in the previous video. In most of the cases, the hollow body guitars have flat wound strings. And maybe the smooth type of sound is caused by the flat wound strings. And uh, the same thing, some of uh, hollow body guitars have this wooden bridge while on the solid body guitars, the bridge is made of metal, and this might affect uh, the sound as well. So, I want to prove the information about the body of the guitar, whether the hollow body affects uh, the sound like a solid body, or maybe I can achieve this type of sound by putting the same type of hardware and strings on a solid body guitar. The next experiment was kind of challenging. I put uh, the flat wound strings on the solid body guitar and compared it uh, its sound to the round wound strings. Well, this was a kind of minor problem. The challenging part began when I tried uh, to replace the metal bridge with a wooden bridge from this uh, guitar. Well, this was kind of an improvised solution 
And uh, I had to get a couple of uh, things, uh, kind of improvised uh, string holder, just to look whether the sound changes if you replace the metal bridge with a wooden bridge. And the same thing I did with this hollow body guitar. I put the round one strings, the flat one strings with a wooden bridge, and then I replaced this bridge with a metal bridge that was a standard pneumatic bridge. And of course, uh, because uh, its size didn't fit uh, the holders of the wooden bridge, this was also improvised solution. So the intonation in this uh, both experiments might uh, be not the best one, but I want just to hear the sound. Let's take a listen. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Well, this was one hell of experiment. And what was my point? Let me put it this way. When a lot of you guys hear the words electric guitar, you think most probably of solid body guitar. And quite a few people would choose the hollow body as the first instrument. But if you can afford both and you like to play both of those guitars, well, have fun with it. I would uh, do this as well. However, a lot of you guys, like me, have like uh, two or three uh, uh, solid body guitars at home. And if you decide uh, to try out some new world, uh, to get into this uh, jazzy groove, uh, into this smooth uh, sound of the hollow body guitar, you can actually get away with the flat wound strings. And I want to hear from you guys. Do you think that uh, solid body guitar with a flat one strings uh, can uh, match uh, the sound of the whole body guitar. Uh, let me know in the comment below. As for me, the metal bridge uh, does increase sustain a little bit, but you can't really hear it in the uh, recording. You c can sort of feel it. And if you want to get a kind of a wooden bridge experience with a sort of a less sustain. I uh, could uh, achieve this type of uh, playing feeling and this type of sound by putting the a piece of uh, cardboard underneath the strings on the metal bridge. Let's take a listen. There is another kind of experience that I made with the hollow body guitar that I can't really show you because it's a matter of my personal feeling rather than the actual sound. While playing this guitar I heard it acoustically pretty loud and this is something uh, that I haven't got to used to hear from the electric guitar. And of course this was kind of a weird feeling, especially while I was playing round wound strings with a metal bridge. I was expecting some kind of uh, 
a solid body guitar type of sound, but I heard it acoustically pretty loud. And this didn't feel uh, right at all. But when I listened to uh, my recording, I noticed that the sound is pretty much uh, the sound of the uh, uh, solid body electric guitar. But there is uh, another theory that I heard from some of the luthiers uh, on the internet that low budget guitars like this one cannot really deliver this uh, type of uh, hollow body guitar sound because uh, they are not made properly. But this is the theory that I can't uh, prove uh, yet if it's true or not. So let's make it this way. If this video hits 20,000 views, I make the same type of uh, experiment with some kind of uh, pricey uh, uh, guitar. Maybe some Gibson uh, or Gretsch or some other higher price range uh, hollow body guitars. But otherwise, this brings me to idea for the luthiers or guitar players out there. Well, a lot of uh, luthiers or a lot of manufacturers still make uh, the copies either of a Stratocaster or Les Paul or some type of uh, Super Strat. And instead of uh, creating the copy of one and uh, the same guitar, here is the idea. Maybe you can make some uh, solid body or semi hollow body guitar with interchangeable bridge. For example, you can use some kind of tunomatic uh, that you can swap out and uh, put some wooden bridge in it. So the guitar players can uh, basically decide for themselves whether they like to play some jazzy tunes uh, for a while or whether they can use it as uh, the solid body guitar and uh, rock out uh, as well. Just an idea. I'm too lazy to make my own startup and to build this type of guitar and especially if I already have like uh, eight guitars. So just an idea, maybe someone wants to make this type of guitar. Otherwise, have a nice day, stay safe, stay tuned and keep on rocking.